Oh, good morning, everyone. Conditions are looking mainly cloudy this morning with temperatures in the 20s across much of the Cooley region. In fact, here in La Crosse, it's currently 27 degrees with a couple of light snow flurries that were just reported at the airport. It feels like 16 degrees, though, when you factor in the northerly winds around 13 miles an hour. Meanwhile, our current conditions to the north in Eau Claire are at 20 degrees here, so much colder and feel like temperatures are at 11 degrees when you factor in the northerly winds at around 7 miles an hour to the north here as well. So look at the counterclockwise wise flow here of the clouds and snow. This is actually associated with the storm system that was just affecting us here over the weekend. We're still feeling the leftover effects on the backside of the system, mainly in the form of a couple of light snow flurries from about Wabashaw County south through Winona and also into portions of Fillmore County. Now back towards the south and east, we're also watching southern La Crosse County and also northern Vernon County as well as portions of eastern Houston County, looking at some very, very light snow flurries here at the moment. And really we could say the same thing for for our neighbors here down to the south here in portions of uh, southern Richland County. Uh, just south of Richland Center, you're looking at some light snow. Those of you listening from uh, Buena Vista looking at uh, some light snow showers here as well. But again, the rest of us are just looking mainly cloudy. And you can see we're on the western extent of that trough of low pressure. This was the same system that just affected us over the weekend, and it continues to move towards the east. As of right now, our current conditions look like this as far as temperatures go. Again, mainly into the 20s across the area this morning. We will continue to remain to the 20s through 7 o'clock and also through the early afternoon hours as well. By 4 o'clock, I do expect temperatures to warm up near the freezing mark while still remaining cloudy. And then by this evening, temperatures drop back down into the upper 20s, so below freezing then, still under a very cloudy weather conditions. And we'll time it out here on Sky Tracker as well. And you can see by 9 o'clock, still very cloudy across much of the area. By noon today, those clouds will redevelop, making things overcast, so not a whole lot of sunshine to work with today at all. We may even see a couple of snow flurries redevelop here around 3 o'clock, and the same can be said around 6 o'clock as those flurries continue to move mainly towards the south, and you'll see that exist here as well by 8 o'clock, otherwise mainly some cloudy skies. Now, by tonight, we start to dry out with the clouds. We'll be looking mainly clear here. Those clouds will continue to move out as high pressure moves in to give us some drier conditions to work with, and in fact, by Tuesday afternoon, the high is going to be basically right on top of us for tomorrow. That will give us mainly sunny conditions, as a matter of fact, to work with. But just, down, just downstream to the west, we're going to be watching our next uh, trough of low pressure. This is a pretty strong one as well. That will give us some pretty wet conditions to work with on Thursday. And you can see on the back side, looking at some snow. And that snow is forecast to move in here just after we get through the rain. So yeah, it's going to be a little bit ugly here for Thursday and also into Friday with good chances of rain on the uh, front half of the system and on the back half of the system. We're going to be looking at the snow on Friday and then this weekend looking at mainly cloudy skies with highs in the 30s. But hey, at least for the first day of spring, just in time for that on Monday, we're looking at mostly sunny skies and slightly warmer temperatures as high as we back in the low 40s by then.